All right. Hello and welcome to our summer 2022 Tufts pre-college program open house. My name is Tara Pope and I'm the director of marketing for Tufts University College. And along with Ariana Wilson, our director of pre-college programs, I will be your co-host for tonight's open house. We are thrilled that you are joining us tonight to learn more about our academically challenging and uniquely rewarding pre-college programs. Not only do we have a lot of great information for you tonight, but we'll also be having a little fun too. We have some Tufts University trivia sprinkled in to keep the crowd on their toes. And although, <clears throat> I'm sorry, and although the crowd um, is a little large tonight to have a, lar a live Q&A session, we've prepared some of our most frequently asked questions to review throughout the program content. As well, please feel free to enter any additional questions in the Q&A section or chat of the webinar. We'll try to get to your answers at the end, but if we run out of time, we'll be sure to get back to you via email soon. So let's get ready to immerse yourselves in Tufts 2022 pre-college program. Hello, and thanks, Tara, for kicking us off. Um, and thanks to all of you for joining us tonight. We're incredibly humbled to have over 600 students and parents um, who registered for tonight's open house. So we'll get right into it. It. My name is Ariana Wilson. I'm the director of pre-college programs here at Tufts. We're excited to enter into the new year and welcome students back to campus for the first time in over two years with this year's pre-college summer programs with the award-winning academics of Tufts University and all of our program offerings. Tonight, we'll introduce you not only to our 13 returning programs, but two brand new intensives as well. Tara and I are joined tonight by the rest of our pre-college teammates who I'll let introduce themselves now. I'll go first. Hi, my name is Lauren Barry and I'm the Associate Director of Pre-College Programs here at Tufts. As Ariana mentioned, we are thrilled to have students back on campus this year and in our exciting new and returning programs. There are quite a few programs to choose from, so we hope you find something here that piques your interest. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Letourneau and I'm the Marketing Associate at University College. Um, I work to support Tara and the pre-college teams and getting the word out about these awesome programs that we're going to go over tonight. Hi everyone, my name is Karen McGuire. I'm one of the program administrators here at pre-college programs. Um, I specifically help with our Leadership for Social Change program, International Relations program, Climate Resilience Institute, Two of our programs that partner with the School of Museum of Fine Arts, that would be Studio Art and the Graphic Design Bootcamp, and our new program this summer, which is the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Bootcamp. I'm so looking forward to talking with you all soon, and if there are any questions, as Tara mentioned, um, please feel free to enter them in the chat, and we will try to get to them either at the end of the session tonight or by email. Hi, everyone. Um, good to see all of you logging in virtually. Uh, my name is Sally Kim, and I am another program administrator for Tufts University's pre-college programs. Um, I'm specifically responsible for managing the programs within our STEM portfolio. So uh, that includes our six-week Tufts Summer Research Experience, Coding 101, Mini Med School, Engineering Design Lab, and Engineering Investigations. Um, so yeah, let's get this night started. Thanks, Sally. Before I take you through our agenda tonight, we thought it would be helpful for you to know a little more about our school within Tufts University that we like to call University College. The main goal of University College is to expand the reach of Tufts University by creatively catalyzing university-wide resources to meet the needs of students with high quality education wherever they are in their learning journey. We'll start back in 1939 when the College of Extension first took shape and was only closed temporarily during World War II. From there, our Tufts Summer School was born in 1946, and by 1949, the Division of Special Studies was formed and would offer additional undergraduate degrees and coursework to students at partnering universities. Now let's jump ahead 65 or so years to 2016, when our current Dean, Joseph Honor, started collaboration with our now Executive Associate Dean, Karen Mulder, to ultimately in 2018, form what we now refer to as University College in the home of Tufts pre-college programs. And now I will take you through tonight's agenda. Up next, you'll hear from our Dean of University College and co-founder of our Tufts pre-college programs, Dr. Joseph Honor. After that, we'll take you through all of our summer 2022 program content, as well as our easy application process. And then our program administrators will share some insight on our amazing pre-college community here at Tufts and talk a little bit more about the potential social activities you could experience as a student this summer. And for a little fun, we'll sprinkle in some more Tufts trivia and as mentioned before, some frequently asked Q&A breaks. And with that, let's get started with Dr. Honor. 
Hello, everybody. Um, yes, I'm Joe Honor, the Dean of University College and a professor of music. And it's really great to have you here. I think you already see what a wonderful group of people we have who are running these programs and creating them. We're really excited to have the opportunity to tell you about what you can do at Tufts this summer. These 15 programs really do explore the cutting edge research and teaching that goes across the unique set of schools that makes up Tufts University. And at Tufts, we have the medical school, which created one of our programs, School of Nutrition, School of Engineering and Arts and Sciences, the School of Museum of Fine Arts, and the Tisch College of Civic Life, among other schools. And students can choose among programs that come from these schools, dig deeply into specific topics, and you can go very deeply into those areas, or you can take regular undergraduate courses along with Tufts students who are here for the summer. Uh, to explore like a regular undergraduate college class, or we have one on one research opportunities and labs across the university. But no matter what your area of interest is, you can find something that will really help you move your studies forward in our one, two, uh, three and six week programs that you'll be hearing about. And these programs are all designed to give you tools to really engage with the big questions and issues that matter in the world today, because we really do want to empower you to make a difference in the world and in your own life. Um, it's at the same time in doing that you'll get a head start on what it's like to be in college to do college level work to experience life on a college campus if you choose to come to be here either as a commuter student or as a residential student to take responsibility for your own life and your own path and your own decisions and most importantly maybe to work together with people who share your passions and interests. Um, all of our programs, as you'll hear, really do embody what's distinctive and wonderful about Tufts that make it such a great place to be. And these include a commitment to ac academic excellence and innovation, a belief that global perspectives are crucial to facing the world's big challenges, and, and a conviction that active and engaged citizens are crucial to achieving the goals of diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice. In all these programs, you'll get a chance to interact with outstanding faculty, students, and staff who created these programs um, who, and who are committed to doing everything they can to make your life here a tough or virtually uh, experience everything it can be. Um, you're going to come away from these programs with expanded knowledge of the subject, new intellectual tools, and ways of thinking, a new maturity. Uh, most importantly, along the way, you'll get the chance to interact with really interesting students uh, from around the world and across the country. Last summer, we had more than 800 students participating virtually. We're expecting many more this summer, and we're excited to have people uh, coming back to campus for the first time in two years, along with virtual offerings. So everyone, as you can see, is excited to tell you about what we're going to be able to offer this summer and all the opportunities you would have and what they can mean for you. And we have a wonderful team and I'm looking forward to having you meet them more. And now I'm going to turn things back to Ariana for a pro overview of the summer programs. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks, Joe. Um, now that you've gotten a sneak peek of our offerings from Joe, let's get started with the real reason you're here to learn more deeply about all of our program offerings. Um, you just heard Dr. Honor speak about all of our schools here at Tufts and our unique academic and research offering. And you can see on the screen our different program categories, which are offered in partnership with many of these schools. Our programs span from the college experience to the arts to social impacts, business and international relations, and STEM. You'll learn a little bit more about the details of these programs um, throughout the presentation. And especially you'll learn though most programs will run in person this summer on our Tufts campuses, which we're very excited about. We're also offering select programs in a virtual format as well. In the next hour or so, we'll give you a deeper introduction into each of these programs. And you can always find more information on our website at precollege.tufts.edu. Our signature program, our six week Tufts College Experience or TCE as we call it, uh, this curated college prep program is open to rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are looking to immerse themselves in an authentic college experience. We're so excited to offer this program back on campus this year so students can truly experience all that Tufts and our campuses have to offer. As the foundation of the program, students will enroll in two four credit courses out of over 50 courses that are available to high school students offered by more than 20 academic departments through TCE. 
you can explore a new subject or areas and take a class that might not ge be generally offered in high school, like the origins of electronic music or introduction to virtual re reality. Or you can knock out some of your future undergraduate requirements with classes like chemical principles or introductory physics. Most of our re regular introductory um, sorry, regular classes are regular in undergraduate courses taught by Tufts world-renowned faculty. Um, do note that we provide Tufts credit for these courses, but if you don't enroll at Tufts, you'll need to check with your institution to see if they accept the courses for credit. We also offer four pre-college homework courses that are college-level courses, but are specifically designed for an offer to high school students. Um, and you'll hear a little bit more about these when we discuss our courses at Tufts program more in depth. Um, in addition to the two courses that you select, TCE students can also enroll for no charge into our admissions essay writing workshop in which students will develop a fully formed college admissions essay by the end of the workshop. Um, we've gotten really great feedback on that workshop and um, have a really spectacular faculty member who's run it for now quite a few years. And um, as a hallmark of our TCE program on Fridays, all students will attend our College Prep 101 workshop, which is broken up into two sections. Um, one is an admissions um, preparatory workshop, and the other is an exploratory um, opportunity to visit local universities and colleges. Within this experience, you'll also be able to engage in social activities and network opportunities with your fellow students and Tufts faculty and staff. And at the end of the program, TCE students will receive Tufts credit for a successful completion of their coursework and um, of which you'll be able to request a Tufts transcript. On this slide, you can see um, just what a snapshot of the TCE schedule looks like. So this is, you know, a curated schedule by a specific student. So courses um, and schedules could look different in terms of what times they're offered um, and at what point, obviously, throughout the day that you're engaging in coursework versus networking opportunities versus your social life. And all students in TCE um, who are participating in the residential aspects of it also are here throughout the weekends and during which we offer exciting field trips like to Boston, to maybe a Red Sox game or other engaging experiences in the local area. Now I will turn it over to Sally to talk through one of our other exciting programs, the Tufts Summer Research Experience. Yes, thanks so much, Ariana. So um, yeah, let's chat a little bit about the Tufts Summer Research Experience or TSRE for short. Uh, in summer of 2022, uh, the Tufts Summer Research Experience will host rising high school juniors and seniors who must be at least the age of 16 by the start of the program, which will be from July 5th to August 13th. Um, as a part of the Tufts Summer Research Experience, students will work with Tufts research faculty and graduate students um, and contribute actively to the cut cutting edge research being done at Tufts labs across all of our campuses in Boston, Medford, Somerville, and Grafton. Um, this summer, we have lab experiences available for students ranging in subject areas from the hard sciences like chemistry uh, to social sciences like anthropology and psychology, and even to comprehensive care in the uh, Tufts University School of Dental Medicine. You can find more specific program information, including a list of uh, current participating faculty members uh, on our program website. Um, now, although lab research will look different based on the subject matter and the focus area that the student participates in, uh, they will follow a general lab schedule from around nine in the morning to about three in the afternoon. Uh, in addition to mentorship from world-class faculty and staff, uh, students this summer will also participate in various activities such as journal clubs, library, and computing lab time, on top of hearing really exciting guest presentations. Um, by program close, students will also develop a research poster based on a research question being investigated in their lab, uh, and with aid from the student's mentor 
for as well. Students will then present and share their findings with the rest of the program cohort, faculty, staff, and family. Now I'll turn it back over to Tara for our first Q&A session. Thanks, Sally. Before we move on to our new programs for this summer, let's take a quick break for some Q&A. So one of our questions we get a lot is, how competitive are your programs? Are there minimum requirements for GPA or test scores? And how can I increase my chances of acceptance? Our programs, especially in the past year, are very highly in demand. And a number of our programs fill up before the application deadlines, which is May 1st. Programs such as the Tufts Summer Research Experience, Mini Med School, and Leadership for Social Change are highly selective. The bottom line, however, is that we are looking for passionate, academically motivated students who will succeed in and contribute to our program. There's no minimum GPA and there's no test requirement. In general, we hope to accept as many applicants as possible as long as we feel they will succeed in our programs. Another question that we get a lot is, do you earn college credits in these programs? You may have heard in um, some of Ariana's discussion around the Tufts College experience that that is true. Some of our programs do offer credit, um, such as our courses for, at Tufts for High Schoolers, which Lauren will talk about a little later, our Climate Resilience Institute, our International Relations and Coding 101 Intensives, and our Tufts College experience that you heard about already. So now I'm going to turn things over to Lauren and let her talk to you about the first of our two new programs this summer. Thanks, Tara. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Tough Summer Accelerator, which, as Tara mentioned, is brand new this year. Um, this program has a lot of similarities to our Tufts College Experience program, but is offered in a bit of a shorter format. Um, so the program, the, the Summer Accelerator, is going to be offered in residential, commuter, and virtual modalities, and it's open to 10th through 12th, rising 10th through 12th graders, as well as spring graduates. This program is broken into two week sessions. Um, you can choose up to take two to take up to two of those two week sessions for a total of four weeks, or you can take just one two week session. Um, during the program, students will choose from two focused seminars from a wide var variety of academic topics. These include anything from neuroscience to criminal justice reform. These seminars really represent the breadth of the research being conducted at Tufts as they stem from real studies conducted by the faculty who are teaching the seminar. In addition to the academic seminars, like in the Tufts College experience, students will also participate in exciting social activities and the Friday college prep sessions. Um, these include the afternoon tours of area colleges and universities, as well as admissions related sessions. Our goal for the Tufts Summer Accelerator is to give students an opportunity to really explore their academic interests while having that same immersive college life experience that Tufts College experience offers, um, but for those students who might not be able to commit to that full six weeks. We also know that college prep is important to many of our students, so they'll have a chance to join the critical Friday sessions and get a leg up on their college application process. And with that, I will hand it over to Karen to take us through entrepreneurship and innovation, our second new program this summer. Thanks, Lauren. Um, so hi again, everyone. As Lauren mentioned, this is our second new program for this summer of 2022. It's the Tufts Entrepreneurship and Innovation Bootcamp. This is a two-week intensive that will run from July 10th to July 22nd, and it's brought to you in partnership with the Derby Center at Tufts. And it's an immersive experience for high school students that are interested in learning how to solve big societal problems through new venture and creation. Students in this program will learn how to build a new venture from the ground up, um, whether it's a startup or a small business or a nonprofit, students will experience an authentic Tufts entrepreneurship experience. Our fast paced interactive workshops are taught by the same professors and thought leaders who teach entrepreneurship to our undergraduate and graduate students. They'll spend time with mentors drawn from Tufts students and alumni who will be your guides to learning opportunities and resources at Tufts. As well, the students in this program will be working in the very same buildings that some of our most successful alumni and entrepreneurs got their start. And now I will turn it over to Olivia. Thank you, Karen and Lauren. Um, we will now do a quick trivia break. Um, so the first trivia question we have tonight is, in what year was Tufts University founded? Was it A, 1852, B, 1934, C, 1875, or D, 1976? Give everyone a moment to think. Well, if you guess B, 1934, you would unfortunately be wrong. The correct answer is A, 1852. Uh, we'll now turn things back over to Lauren for another quick Q&A session. Thanks, Olivia. 
Um, so for this Q&A, uh, another question that we get pretty frequently is, how can I make my application to Tufts Free College program stronger? Um, there's a few answers to this. Um, one is pretty simple. Make sure that all of the parts of your application are filled out really thoroughly. So if there's a question box that asks you to talk about why you're interested in the program, make sure that you're spending a good amount of time thinking about it and answering it. Um, the other thing is, Kind of make sure that you plan your time well so that you're not um, running up against the application deadline of May 1st um, and making sure that all of your materials are in before the deadline. Um, when you're asking for someone to recommend you, so a teacher or a guidance counselor, make sure that that person is someone who can really speak to your skills um, and because there's going to be a lot of questions about you know, how you op operate in a classroom, et cetera. Um, so make sure that that person can answer those questions well. And then fi finally, with regards to that, um, whoever you ask to upload your transcript and your recommendations, make sure you're following up with them um, frequently. You know, Obviously, you don't, you don't want to bad ba be badgering them, but making sure that you're getting those in before uh, the, the materials deadline. So the other question is, um, and we're, we, we get this a lot as well, are there financial aid options available? And the answer is yes. Um, so during the application process, there will be a question as to whether or not you want to apply for financial aid. While we can't guarantee full financial aid for all applicants, um, we review all applications for financial aid based on our available funds and the demonstrated need. All right, so I'm going to hop in here. Thank you, Lauren and Olivia. Um, so I'm going to talk about a little bit about our Climate Resilience Institute program. Um, so this is a two week program that runs from July 10th to 22nd. Um, and just the basis of this program is the thought that there's never been a more pressing time to study the intersection of environmental change and social equity to learn how you can make a difference. Students will apply an interdisciplinary and um, case study approach to social, ecological, and political facets of contemporary environmental issues. They'll learn the principles and key concepts of environmental change and resilience from experts in many fields. And they'll gain hands-on knowledge of techniques for environmental data collection, analysis, and visualization. Topics in this program span from resilient water infrastructure to climate activism and environmental justice. Students will actively participate in community responses to climate change through a series of socio-environmental field trips within the Boston area to local organizations, and they will work in small teams to identify a socio-environmental research question. They will then gather and analyze data on this subject and synthesize their findings into a college-level capstone project. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about our international relations program. Um, this program runs this year from July 24th to August 5th, and this is another one of our popular programs that are returning this summer. The international relations intensive gives high school students great insight into the rapidly changing field of environment in, of international impact and partnership and is perfect for students who are interested in studying current and historical global issues. As you may know, Tufts is home to the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, which is one of the top graduate schools in international affairs in the country. This program takes full advantage of the tremendous faculty and expert resources of the Fletcher School and of Tufts Accomplished International Relations Program in the School of Arts and Sciences. Students will attend lectures with Tufts faculty members on such topics as cybersecurity, alliance dynamics, and nuclear proliferation, citizens and empires, evolving relations with China, negotiation, and conflict resolution, just to name a few. Further, in accordance with Tufts' goal that all students emerge with foreign language and cultural competency, IR intensive students will study a language of their choosing with Tufts language professors. Students will have the opportunity to continue learning a language that they're already learning, such as Spanish or French, or they can start taking a, a new language like Chinese, Arabic, um, or Russian, just to name a few. Um, students' studies will culminate in a research paper on an international relations topic of their choosing, and IR students will receive Tufts pre-matriculation credit upon successful completion of this program. And you're still stuck with me for a little bit more um, because now I'm going to talk about the Leadership for Social Change program, which is another popular program that we have returning this summer. And this is a program that's directed by members of our Tisch College of Civic Life. This program is, dev uh, is designed for students who are passionate about finding ways to enact change in society. Um, there will be two modalities to this program this summer. There will be a residential version, which is um, going to run from July 10th to 22nd. And then there will also be a fully virtual version of this program this summer, which will run from July 31st to August 12th. Um, at Tisch College, they recognize the power that young people possess and the societal impact they can have. Uh, we firmly believe that young people should have the opportunity to reflect and brainstorm the way they want their future society to look. 
both in the on-campus version and the virtual version of the program, course activities are in, put in place to highlight society's mutual interdependence and interconnectedness. This two-week program will be a way to unite students across the world and, and equip them with change-making skills, resiliency strategies, and civic knowledge to build connections, work collaboratively, and emerge as change agents who can inspire others. Students will emerge from the program with a greater understanding of societal issues affecting communities and how these issues came to be. Students will also emerge with a toolkit of knowledge and practical skills to tap into as they move on to the next phase of their lives. Um, students will also have made connections not only with their peers, but with many civic leaders, students, and faculty who are part of the program. And additionally, they will receive Tufts credit upon successful completion of the program. So now I will throw it back to Olivia for our next trivia question. Awesome. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, so our next question is a true or false question. Uh, Tufts is famous for their mascot being Jumbo the Elephant. So true or false, the original Jumbo the Elephant, elephant um, is stored in a peanut butter jar. Looks like a lot of people are guessing correctly in the trap. It is true. The original Jumbo was stuffed and stood in the old blue hall, but unfortunately fell victim to an electrical fire. However, what remains could be saved were stored in a peanut butter jar and are still held on Tufts campus today. Um, I will now be throwing it back to Karen for a little, little bit more live Q&A. Thank you, Olivia. Okay, so our next two questions um, that we get pretty frequently. First is who is eligible for our new intensives? Um, so as we've mentioned, each program has their own um, requirements and um, specifics that come with the application, but specifically for our new intensives, just to keep it short, these programs are open to all students who are rising sophomores through students who will be graduating in the spring of 2022. And finally, for our next question here, how do we choose the content of these programs? Um, so for our pre-college programs, we always create new programs based on the interests of students, but also uh, faculty and staff. So for example, our new entrepreneurship and innovation bootcamp program, we've gotten a lot of feedback over the past few summers about the desire for a Tufts pre-college business program or business classes um, for high school students. So this summer, we were able to partner with faculty and staff, um, as I mentioned, from the Derby Entrepreneurship Center at Tufts to create a program that would cover topics of business and entrepreneurship. So we always want to make sure to accommodate and appeal to the interests of high school students, but want to make sure that we're utilizing um, our renowned resources we have here at Tufts and making a program that's successful and worthwhile. Um, so with that, I'll send this back to Sally to talk about our next program. Thanks so much, Karen, for all of that. And um, you are actually stuck with me for the next few slides as I cover some of our exciting STEM programs. So first up is our uh, engineering design lab. Uh, this two week residential or commuter program takes place between two sessions. Um, session one is from July 10th to July 22nd. And the second session is from July 24th to August 5th. And this program is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. Uh, students must be pro uh, 15 by program start. And like the tough summer research experience, um, Again, Engineering Design Lab offers both that commuter and residential option, depending on that student uh, on the student's need. Um, students will spend the mornings hearing from Tufts outstanding engineering faculty and industry experts, learning about engineering research being done at Tufts, as well as challenges encountered by Tufts faculty uh, as a part of their work and how those challenges can be solved with the tools and technologies within their labs. Uh, students will also attend uh, make along lectures and workshops where they will de develop um, the programming and maker skills that they will need to take on a real world challenge of their world uh, of their own in our state of the art no lot maker space where we have exciting equipment like 3D printers and later laser cutting tools, um, all the good stuff. Um, as a part of this program, students will gain a more comprehensive understanding of the different ways that engineers solve problems and challenges in both the public and private sectors. Um, they will also gain experience in rapid prototyping and will learn more about how to respond to client needs in their own engineering designs. Working in small groups, um, students will have the opportunity to tackle their own challenge, uh, utilizing their newly acquired mechanical and electrical engineering skills to create design prototypes. And they will have the opportunity to uh, present their prototypes in a final exhibition attended by their peers, Tufts faculty members, and family. 
Um, for this program, in addition to the online application, um, you will also need a transcript, one letter of recommendation, and a parent permission form. Uh, next up, we have our engineering investigations intensive. Uh, this intensive was new last summer. And uh, for this summer, this will be a two week residential or commuter program that will take place between July 10th and July 22nd. Uh, engineering investigations is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. And um, unlike uh, the engineering design lab, the engineering investigations and tests intensive takes a much more broader approach to engineering as a whole and is designed to provide an introduction to the different disciplines within the broad field of engineering, such as civil and environmental engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science, and biomedical engineering. Uh, throughout the two-week program, students will work on various aspects of engineering research, design, and entrepreneurship. Um, in addition, participants uh, will be engaged in learning methods and approaches for engineering design, exploring engineering ethics and its intersections with ethics and social justice, and applying these ideas through hands-on projects. Um, each day, students will also have the opportunity to hear from various student or professional panels or guest speaking professionals and leaders in the industry about their experiences. And students also um, in the second week will focus on creating either a final design project or presentation of their choosing within the engineering field. Um, if engineering specific intensives aren't for you, don't worry, uh, we also have Coding 101, which is a two week commuter or residential program running from July 24th through August 5th. Uh, the Coding 101 intensive will equip students of all levels of experience with in-demand programming in-demand programming skills uh, needed to build applications and um, other important tools that solve real world problems. Um, students will either learn or expand their knowledge of the coding language Python, uh, which is one of the most popular programming languages in use today. And students will learn about these languages as, long, as well as other topics like data visualization and interpretation, machine learning, cryptography, you name it, um, in workshops taught by graduate students and faculty. And they will also gain hands-on experience with programming throughout the course of the program. Um, in addition, tech treks to Boston area techno uh, technology centric companies uh, such as HubSpot, Google, Ginkgo Bioworks, Fidelity, and more uh, will allow students to explore the vast array of careers in the expanding fields of software and technology. Uh, the last week, the second week in particular, will offer the students a chance to apply what they've learned as they focus on designing, creating, and pitching their own final coding projects, um, which they will demo to a group of their peers, as well as Tufts faculty and staff. Um, upon successful completion of the program, students will also receive Tufts pre-matriculation credit for their work. And next, uh, we have our Tufts Mini Med School. Um, since its launch in the summer of 2020, this has been by far one of our most popular pre-college intensives. Um, this two-week program provides driven students the opportunity to work closely with medical students as they explore crucial facets of the medical school experience at one of the nation's leading medical schools, which is the Tufts University School of Medicine. Uh, through various lectures, medical case studies, and a hands-on lab, uh, students will really begin to experience uh, much of what it takes to really study medical sciences. Um, students will also participate in question and answer sessions with admission staff, uh, medical doctors, doctors from other health professions, and medical students to really get a feel for med medical school and the career options that they have in medicine and um, other health related fields. This program is uniquely interdisciplinary and draws on the studying array of schools beyond the School of Medicine dedicated to uh, health science and medicine at Tufts University. And students will finish their experience by designing a capstone presentation that connects the science of infectious diseases and immunology to a health, per, uh, to a health topic of personal and societal significance. And uh, students will also be able to share their capstone projects with their program peers, medical student mentors, program staff, and family. 
Uh, this summer, we are really excited to offer our pre-college mini med school, both on campus as a residential and commuter option, as well as virtually. And uh, this program is only available to rising high school juniors, seniors, and recent high school graduates that have completed at least one year of biology on their transcript. Now let's go back to Olivia for some more trivia. Awesome, thank you, Sally. So Tufts is home to many notable students, but which of these stars from the office uh, attended Tufts University? Was it A, Steve Carell, who plays Michael Scott, B, Rain Wilson, who plays Dwight Schrute, C, Kate Flannery, who plays, oh, excuse me, Meredith Palmer, or D, Jenna Fisher, who plays Pam Beasley? Well, if you answered B, Rain, Rain Wilson, aka Dwight Schrute, you are correct. He attended Tufts and studied in the experimental theater program. Um, now we're going back to Sally for a little more Q&A. Thanks, Olivia. Um, so just to answer a couple of more questions that we receive um, from very interested students and families, um, the first of which is, how is Tufts pre-college students planning on a accommodating students located in different time zones for virtual students. Um, so we at Tufts Pre-College understand that there are students not only uh, from not only across the country, but also from around the world that are still interested in joining us on our virtual campus this summer. Uh, we're currently working really hard to ensure students who are offered spots in our programs, which offer virtual modalities, uh, will be able to attend. Um, you can read about our tentatively planned accommodations on any of our program website pages um, in the section titled Attending Outside the Eastern Time Zone. The second uh, question that we receive uh, pretty frequently is, can students and parents directly send academic transcripts, which is, um, like we've mentioned, a very required part of all student applications. Uh, so unfortunately, due to University College and Tufts University policy, we are unable to accept transcripts directly from students and parents. Um, as a part of the application process, uh, we do, however, notify schools via email to upload transcripts on the student's behalf. Uh, but if you are having any difficulties contacting your school or your guidance counselor to upload your transcripts, uh, please contact us at precollege at tufts.edu so that we are able to assist you. And with that, I'm going to hand things back to Karen to take us through our final intensives the, uh, within the School of the Museum of the Fine Arts, which is our studio, studio art and our graphic design bootcamp intensive. Great, thank you, Sally, so much. Um, so first, we're going to talk about the graphic design bootcamp. This is a one-week bootcamp, and it's the newest addition to our SMFA pre-college portfolio. It's entering its second year this summer. This is a fully online program that's designed for all creative types. So that's those intrigued by digital design, those interested in creative writing, or those interested in enhancing their communication skills through visuals. This, this program will take a unique interdisciplinary approach to graphic design, including aspects of psychology, language, and visual arts, just to name a few. Instruction will focus on translating messaging and ideas to digital designs using tools in the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. As students work on their pieces of um, art, they'll also get a glimpse into the graphic design field as a career with talks from professional graphic designers and artists alike. Each day, there will be a mix of technical instruction, time for independent and group work, as well as experimental learning opportunities like roundtables and artist talks. The week will wrap up with a group review and virtual show, which will allow participants to get vital feedback from their peers, as well as celebrate their work and, and their experience in the program. Most importantly, the program will connect young creatives across the globe for a taste of online learning and growth through creative expression. And next up, we have our studio art program. This is the only three week summer program that we have this summer. It will be running from July 10th to July 29th, and it will be in person. This program is open to rising high school sophomores, juniors, seniors, and graduates, and students must be 15 years old by the program start. The program is designed for high school artists considering pursuing art as a college major or a career path to help them elevate their practice, refine their techniques, and grow their portfolio. 
This is taught in a highly collaborative manner. Students will be encouraged to blur the lines between disciplines. It's led by a team of qualified artists and educators. All students will get instruction on advancing technical skills in drawing, painting, sculpture, animation, and it will allow you to build a portfolio of materially complex intentional works of art. Group critiques are led by instructors. There will be field trips to local museums and galleries, and a critical studies class will facilitate analysis and contextualization of art within the real world, which will encourage you to think deeply about what it means to make art. This program serves as a great test drive for art school with many hours spent in specialized studio spaces, interacting with other artists, and diving headfirst into the creative process. For those students preparing to apply to art programs, this program also affords participants the opportunity to work directly with SMFA admissions representatives to review and hone their art portfolio, perfect their artist statement, and to find the right college for them. This program concludes with a final exhibition, which allows students to experience curating and installing an exi exhibition while sharing their work with friends and family. And with that, let's hear from Ariana with some final Q&As. Sure, thanks, Karen. Um, so. A lot of the time we get questions, if I previously participated in one of these programs, can I participate again? And the answer is yes, of course. Um, while our returning programs cover the same general topic areas as our previous summers, the curriculum and experience um, changes in conjunction with the ever-changing world. Topics such as international affairs, medical advancements, and civic action, to name a few, have evolved significantly since last summer. So any programs you'd be participating in, you'll definitely be getting a little bit different taste of the content. Um, our programs address these changes and intertwine news and current affairs into the lessons and program development. And certainly, if you've participated in the past two years, if you choose to be a residential or a commuter student, you'll be getting a totally new on-campus experience, which will offer additional unique opportunities within the content areas. Um, additionally, students are welcomed and encouraged to attend multiple different programs within or our portfolio. I think I saw a couple of questions in the chat regarding the engineering programs. And while they may cover a couple of the same um, content areas, for example, engineering investigations will provide a sampling of all different um, content areas within the engineering field, well, engineering design lab will focus a little bit more on robotics and design. Um, another question that students and parents are always interested in is what social engagement will be available? So each summer we create many opportunities for social engagement, both within our programs and across all programs so that students get to participate in activities together. Um, Activities in the past have included contests, lunch and learn sessions, wellness classes like bar class, meditation and yoga. Um, we have discussions about managing mental health, improv classes, and we're super excited to be back on campus where students can have the opportunity to explore our local Davis Square neighborhood or rock the Boston Freedom Trail and um, do things like go to Red Sox games, we're really hoping to get that one in there this summer, um, but just providing lots of opportunities with our residential vendor to get students involved, um, connecting with each other and with our Tufts faculty, staff, and students. And now I will take us through the very important application process. So I think, this should be in like big bold letters, but our applications open on December 1st. So you will have the opportunity to start your application at this link on December 1st. The application is a pretty straightforward form where you choose your program of interest and um, complete uh, some personal and family background information so that you can um, go through the process. Um, you'll see on each of our websites that there's a big apply now button, um, both on our pre-college main site and then each of our, our content sites as well. Um, 
another big part of your application, as I think we alluded to before, is that parents um, or guardians must submit permission for you to enroll. This is part of the application process and doesn't commit you to attending the program. It just allows us to know that your parent or guardian um, is aware of your application and is supporting you in it. We also require, uh, for most of our programs, a letter of recommendation. Um, so you would select a recommender from your school or an employer or a coach or someone that knows you really well um, to submit a letter of recommendation. They get an email and we'll submit it through our portal. Um, same thing with the transcripts. Sally had mentioned that we require the transcripts to come directly from schools. So you'll enter a school personnel um, into the application form and they will be sent a request for to submit your transcript through our portal. Um, each of our programs also may have some program specific application requirements. They vary depending on the program, but in some programs like TCE, for example, you'll be asked to um, submit your course preference in TSRE, you'll be asked to submit lab preferences, and in some of our programs, you'll also need to write a brief statement of interest to just tell us a little bit why you're interested in the program. Um, once we've received all these materials, we'll return your admissions decision within 10 days, and upon admission, you'll be asked to submit your program deposit and some follow-up enrollment forms, and followed by full payment. You can see all of our payment policies on our website, um, and you'll also be communicated with throughout the, pro the process so that you'll know exactly what's due when. And with that, I will turn things over to our Associate Director, Lauren, to talk through a very important integration with our undergraduate and graduate programs, Courses at Tufts for High Schoolers. Thanks, Ariana. Um, so Courses at Tufts for High Schoolers, or CATHS as we call it for not that short. Um, so through CATHS, students can enroll in one of more than 130 courses that are open to high school students this summer across two summer sessions. Most of these courses are taught are uh, Tufts undergraduate courses taught by Tufts faculty and staff. Students can earn up to 10 credits per session in CATHS. The full list of courses can be found at courses at courses.tufts.edu. Um, currently, you'll be able to choose from on-campus, hybrid, and virtual courses for the summer. Students will receive Tufts credit upon successful completion of the courses and may request a transcript at the end of the program. Enrollment in any summer session two course at Tufts allows students to take advantage of the college prep workshops we mentioned earlier in the presentation. Our admissions essay writing workshop is available to CATHS students free of charge. And CATHS students may also enroll in College Prep 101 workshop for an additional fee. A feature of the courses at Tufts for high schoolers is our pre-college hallmark courses, health science honors, foundation of law and ethics, bioinformatics inquiry through sequencing, and the Tufts summer writing program, which are designed specifically for high school students and are meant to bridge the gap between high school and college. These are taught by brilliant visiting faculty who have experienced designing courses for a high school aged audience. These are top quality courses taught by world-renowned Tufts faculty who are among the most respected members of their field. So since there are some differences in the application and registration process for CATHS, I'm gonna walk you through the steps specifically for this program. Enrollment in this program opens on January 4th, 2022. First, students should go to the website that's listed, universitycollege.tufts.edu slash courses slash browse to register. That link is also available on the program website as well as through courses.tufts.edu. Once you've selected a course, you can add it to your cart and check out to register. Once you've registered, you'll receive an email from our application system to create your account and apply in order to confirm your registration. Once you've submitted the application, you'll need to have your parent fill out the parent permission form, say, same as the other programs. During the application process, you'll be asked for contact information for a school official and a recommender to upload your transcript and recommendation, respectively. Once we receive these materials, we'll approve your registration. After that, you'll be asked to complete some enrollment forms. And once we receive those, you're good to go. And the only thing left to do is to get excited for your course to start. Now back to Olivia for the next and final question of the evening. Thank you, Lauren. And sadly, it's true. This is our last trivia question of the evening. So we are so lucky to be partnered with the School of the Museum of Fine Arts to be able to put on our studio art and graphic design boot camp programs. But in what year did the SMFA become officially partnered with Tufts? Was it A, 1986, B, 2000, C, 2016, 
or D, 1876? See a lot of answers coming in. I see a lot of the correct answer too. So if you said C 2016, you are correct. Uh, the SNFA joined Tufts School of Arts and Scientists in 2016. And from our final trivia question onto some final information on our pre-college programs for 2022. Thanks, Olivia. So one of the most important parts of your experience at Tufts pre-college programs, no matter which ones you choose, will be the community that you'll become a part of when you enroll. Not only will you be building upon your academic interests and skill sets, but you'll be meeting students from around the globe with similar goals and interests, as well as world-renowned faculty and staff to teach and mentor you through this process. Don't take it from us, visit our website at precollege.tufts.edu and experience it yourself with our two testimonial videos and final work products. You can also see on this page, although it might be a little bit small, some comments from our parents and students. And of course, last but not least, there are social activities and experiences that you'll have. Um, I spoke a little bit about those social engagements that you'd be able to be a part of, but on this slide, you'll see listed some of the additional um, opportunities that we've offered before, and there'll be many more as we come closer to programming that you'll be made aware of. And now back to Olivia to tell us a little bit about our social media giveaway that's happening now. Thank you, Ariana. If you are interested in our summer 2022 programs, the best way to stay up to date is on our social media channels, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, we're always updating our pages with the most up-to-date pre-college updates. Um, and now you have the chance to win some cool swag too. So if you go to go.tufts.edu slash giveaway, um, you'll be able to follow our social media pages and enter for the chance to win our swag bundle. Uh, we'll be choosing five lucky winners and our prizes will include a Tufts pre-college throw blanket, a drink tumbler, a drawstring bag, a wireless charging pad, sunglasses, and a Tufts pre-college sticker. You don't want to miss your chance, so visit our giveaway now and start following our social media pages. Thanks so much, Olivia. So I know that throughout this presentation, lots of people have been asking questions um, in the chat, and we've been trying to get to as many of them as we can. We are wrapping up on time right now, but just a reminder, we will, um, we do have have a record of all of these questions and we will be trying to answer them um, as quickly as we can through email. Um, always feel free to email us at precollege at tufts.edu if your question doesn't get answered. But um, we just wanted to thank you so much for joining us tonight. And thank you to Tara, my co-host, as well as the entire pre-college team for their help and support with this open house and for all that they do with our pre-college programs and students. Um, we hope you enjoyed the hour with us and that you learned more about what you're looking for for Tufts pre-college programs. And we really, um, would love to see you on campus. As a reminder, our applications open December 1st, so pre please visit us at precollege.tufts.edu for more information um, on our summer and academic year programs. Um, and our contact information is here, but you can also, we actually probably should have had our phone number here too, but it is 617-617. 627-2926, there we go. Um, and you can also find that on our website. And if you or someone you know missed a part of tonight's broadcast, we'll be posting it to our YouTube channel within the next few days and to let you know when it's available. Thank you all so much for joining us and, and we're really excited about our summer 22 programming.